Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about the concept of a Gary. Is uh, we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. We're going to talk about Gary Gygax, and we're going to talk about the idea of if there is a Gary today. Right now, what do I mean by a Gary? Well, this concept comes from Thor: Love and Thunder, fantastic film. Um, and in the movie Thor: Love and Thunder, they talk about a Thor. Okay, so let's get into this. So in Thor Love and Thunder, there are two Thors. There is Odinson Thor, that is the Thor you know and love, right? That is the Thor who's always been Thor, right? It's the son of Odin, and it is uh, the Thor, you know, who had Mjolnir, then Mjolnir was, you know, crushed by Hera, and then he had Stormbreaker, and you know Thor, right? Like Odinson Thor, right? Then... In Thor Love and Thunder, we get a Thor, another Thor, right? And a, a Thor, right? So Odinson Thor, Odinson, Odinson Thun, Odinson, Odinson Thor is a Thor, and Mighty Thor is a Thor, and Mighty Thor in Thor Love and Thunder is Jane Foster Thor, Dr. Jane Foster Thor, right? And so there are two Thors in Thor Love and Thunder, right? And uh, Valkyrie and multiple characters talk about Jane Foster as a Thor, right? Saying, and also Gore, uh, Gore the God Butcher is like, oh, hey, here's the Lady Thor. And she's like, my name is not Lady Thor. My name is Mighty Thor, right? And we understand the other Thor as Odinson Thor, right? So there's Odinson Thor and there's Mighty Thor. And Mighty Thor is a Thor, right? Odinson was the first Thor, right? Is there... So, let's talk about Dungeons & Dragons. 1974, Gary Gygax creates Dungeons & Dragons, right? He is the first Gary Gygax. But here's the open question. Is there a Gary today, right? Is there someone who is doing everything Gary did then and being a Gary, right? Now, first of all, why was there a Thor in Thor Love and Thunder, right? There was a Thor in Thor Love and Thunder because Odinson Thor made sure there would be another Thor. How did he do it, right? He talked to Mjolnir and he said, you know, and when he was, when, when Jane Foster was simply his girlfriend, he said to Mjolnir, always protect her, right? So he said, always protect Jane Foster. He gave a command to Mjolnir to make sure that Jane Foster would be safe. Well, Jane Foster gets cancer, and then she is um, specifically, right, she gets cancer, and then she is specifically, um, yeah, so what's the flow? Oh, and then she needs to heal herself, and just picking up Mjolnir will take that that curse out of her and allow her to be mighty and she'll have great health, right? So the reason why she was able to pick up Mjolnir is because Odinson Thor made sure she would be able to pick up uh, pick, pick up Mjolnir so Mjolnir could protect her, right? So there are there is a Thor in Thor Love and Thunder because the world needs a Thor and it needs a Thor, right? And an additional Thor and get this, it is also there, this is really fascinating, because Odinson and Thor made sure there would be a Thor. Did Gary Gygax make sure there would be a Gary? Yes, 100%, right, in my humble opinion. He absolutely made sure there would be a Gary, that there would be a person on this planet, right, who was an amazing game designer and cared for humanity and made sure that humanity is always moving forward by helping each person who interacts with Dungeons and Dragons to be a better person. All that is true in my humble opinion, okay? So Gary, of course, made sure that there would be a Gary. So if there is a Gary today, who is it? It's Amanda Heyman. She is the lead design on Strixhaven and she is everything Gary was, a brilliant game designer, someone who takes Dungeons and Dragons farther. From 1974 to 1986, Gary Gygax did nothing but take 
Dungeons and Dragons far. He went to Hollywood, made sure there was a Saturday morning, morning cartoon, which took Dungeons and Dragons farther, right? Um, he was a brilliant game designer. He cared deeply about humanity. Uh, that's one of the reasons why the Saturday morning cartoon was so progressive and so inclusive, right? And he made sure, in my humble opinion, that Dungeons and Dragons improved every single person who played it at length and every single dungeon master who run it at length. Amanda Heyman is absolutely doing that. Strixhaven is the second most important book in all of Dungeons and Dragons next to the core, each core editions, PHB, DMG, and, P and, and Monster Manual. Strixhaven opens the gate of social interaction. Gary opened the gate of combat. No one has opened the gate of exploration. And, and combat, inter social interaction, and exploration is literally a progression map of humanity's progress. And each one can only be opened sequentially, in my humble opinion. Yes, there is a Gary today. That Gary is Amanda Heyman. That's my opinion. What's yours? Love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.